2025 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine explained how regulatory T cells keep the immune system from friendly fire. This is a scientific video which is based on research findings published in famous peer-reviewed journals and government reports. Please see the reference section available at the end of the video for source papers. If you've ever watched an overzealous bouncer toss out a VIP, you've glimpsed the headache of immune self-tolerance. Our immune system must be fierce enough to repel pathogens yet restrained enough not to attack its host. The reason most of us aren't in a permanent civil war with our own tissues is a specialized peacekeeping force, regulatory T-cells, or TREGs. Their centrality to peripheral tolerance is precisely why the 2025 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine went to Mary E. Branco, Fred Ramsdell, and Shimon Sakaguchi, honoring discoveries that identify TREGs and the FOXP3 gene as the linchpins that prevent self-destruction. From suspicion to discovery. In the mid-1990s, Sakaguchi and colleagues performed a deceptively simple experiment, remove a small subset of CD40 cells marked by the IL-2 receptor alpha chain, CD25, and animals develop a grab bag of autoimmune diseases. Restore those cells and order is reinstated. The message was unambiguous, there exists a distinct T-cell lineage that actively enforces self-tolerance, not just passive deletion in the thymus. Fast forward to 2001, and the genetic culprit behind a lethal, inflammatory mouse disorder called scurfy is pinned on a forkhead winged helix transcription factor later christened FOX3. In the same breath, mutations in the human autolog FOXP3 were linked to the devastating immune dysregulation, polyendocrinopathy, enteropathy, X-linked, IPEX, syndrome. Two years later came the clincher, ectopic expression of FOX3 converts ordinary T-cells into suppressors and FOX3 is required for TREG development. Together, these papers turned a hunch into a field. What TREGs actually do all day? TREGs don't swing hammers, they carry a well-stocked toolbox. They consume local ill to like a black hole, starving would-be aggressors. They deploy inhibitory cytokines, IL-10, TGF beta, no equations, I promise, modulate dendritic cells, in part via CTLA4, and rewire tissue environments to dampen inflammation. This dominance is not mere housekeeping. Without TREGs, effector T cells proliferate, collateral damage ensues, and organs become unwilling battlegrounds. FOXP3 is the librarian and the chief of police, organizing a gene program that stabilizes TREG identity while coordinating suppression across contexts. Reviews over the next decade map the circuits, development in thymus and periphery, homeostasis via IL-2, and mechanisms tailored to targets. The picture that emerged is less, one-trick pony, more modular orchestra. When the brakes fail, or overperform. TREG insufficiency or dysfunction features in autoimmunity, from type 1 diabetes to lupus, where numbers fall, stability wavers, or tissues resist their calming cues. On the flip side, tumors can co-opt TREGs to cloak themselves from immune attack. That duality has inspired both strategies to boost TREGs, autoimmunity, transplantation, and to block or reprogram them, cancer. A concise overview, even from outside the usual suspects of big-name journals, captures this two faces theme. From price to patients, IL-2 and TREG therapy. If FOXP3 writes the rules, IL-2 enforces attendance. TREGs express high affinity IL-2 receptors and are exquisitely sensitive to low-dose IL-2. That pharmacologic quirk has become a therapeutic doorway, interval low-dose IL-2, ILD IL-2, preferentially expands TREGs in humans and induces a durable anti-inflammatory gene signature without revving up inflammatory T-cells. Systematic clinical reviews across autoimmune conditions and oncology catalog this new generation of treg biased IL-2 biologics and dosing schemas. Beyond cytokines, adoptive TREG therapy, growing and infusing a patient's own TREGs, has matured from concept to early phase trials in transplantation and autoimmunity. Manufacturing know-how, how many cells, which phenotype, how to keep FOXP3 on duty, is improving quickly, and the safety profile so far is encouraging. It's early days, but the arc bends toward personalized immune tolerance rather than carpet bombing immunosuppression. The bigger story. Why does this Nobel feel inevitable in hindsight? 
because TREGS reframed immunity as managed risk. The immune system isn't only about recognition and destruction, it's about restraint, repair, and context. From a 1995 mouse experiment with CD25 T cells to human gene therapy concepts and designer cytokines, the through line is elegant, identify the peacekeepers, understand their code, then learn to dial them up or down. That's good science and excellent medicine. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel BP International to watch more videos in the fields of science, technology and medicine.